Hey, what's up everybody? I'm back on my phone because I don't have a camera today, but um, it's Sunday, it's the beginning of the week. I'm at Starbucks because I had a little bit of extra time this morning. My skills doesn't start until nine, but um, I go to the Starbucks and it's usually really fast, but today it's going a little bit slow. So that's why I'm vlogging. Cause I was like, oh my gosh, why is this taking like an extra 20 minutes? But yeah. I have skills today. It's like on eight skills and it's really weird because usually they'll test you within the same day But she wants us to come on a separate day for I picked my test to be like right before my lecture exam Just so that it wouldn't take up so much time I know you shouldn't get like senioritis in nursing school and I wouldn't say I technically have it But I just feel very like over it. The term has been like kind of weird It hasn't been like bad but it's just like, I'm ready to be done and over with the school. It's time to move on to the next thing. I've only gotten really into like the pink drink. I don't know why. I tried it a long time ago and I thought it was like whatever. But now I like really like it, but it's like very expensive. <laughs> okay, my classes are like blurring out. I don't think that many people have Sunday classes. I know a lot of people have Sunday clinical though, so. Okay. Hey, what's up everybody? It is, what's today? Today is Monday. Uh, it's about 2 p.m. right now. I just kind of woke up. Um, I slept in a lot just because I have a night shift tonight and I know you guys really like my night shift videos when I used to work night shift as a CNA so I've decided that I'm gonna be doing that tonight for you guys um, my preceptorship is in the ICU so I'm gonna be there tonight um, it starts at 7 and ends at 7 30 I worked out this morning but I didn't really vlog it I woke up around like 10 and then I worked out 8 and went back to sleep. I also got some Starbucks on my way back home and I just left it in the refrigerator because I don't like to have to go out after I'm already at home. Um, right now I'm just kind of clean my room real quick because it looks kind of messy. And then I'm going to do some questions because I have 200 left for my capstone class. And then... We'll see from there. <laughs> this looked really bad. Completion of my simulation. So I need to either photocopy that or figure that out. But I'm having a little bit of like an open face sandwich. I want to do a face mask because why not? I honestly don't know if you can even hear me over this lawnmower thing. I don't know how to turn on my fan. But yeah, I'm just gonna be eating my sandwich. It's like a chicken spread. I don't know. My grandma made it for me. And I just got a strawberry acai. It's supposed to be for later on in work. Oh, that one's really sour. But I'm just gonna drink it now. I'm gonna put this on too. A couple days ago, I realized I couldn't find my, sorry if I'm talking weird, it's my face mask, but I couldn't find my stethoscope, so I was like, kept looking around for it. I don't know if I left it somewhere or someone stole it, but it was my mom's and it was really expensive, but this is the one I'm going to be using for now. It's like $47 on Amazon. It's not like too bad for a stethoscope. Um, I don't know if it's any good, we'll find out, but I've been literally, like, it's the third week and I haven't had a stethoscope and I've been having to use other people's, or, so I'd rather just have my own, um, but yeah.
Now that the guy's done mowing the lawn or someone else is mowing. Also, I'm watching some vlogs because I don't feel like doing homework. <laughs> So, I think tonight I'm going to do my makeup a little bit just because, for one, my preceptor, oh my god, she looks like a freaking model <laughs> and she wears like a full face of makeup, she has lashes. Nursing is a comfortable job that allows you to do that kind of stuff, but yeah, this is going to be my second shift. Oh my gosh. This is going to be my second shift, but um, first shift went by really fast. Um, half of it, I spent with her and then half of it I spent with another nurse because she was a break nurse. Um, let me just send, I need to send some paperwork. So if you're wondering how preceptor works, I'll like talk about it after I finish this mask because I know that I was pretty like confused as to what it was and I honestly didn't know what it was until I had, sorry I have to have my password, um, until I went through the whole orientation for it. So yeah. Oh my god, I forgot I have to do these quizzes. Okay, y'all, let's get this done. My skin feels a lot more moisturized. And then, to add on top of that, I... Oh my gosh. I use this Neutrogena thing. Because my skin's like really sensitive, and I usually use sensitive skin, but that's all I have for now because I'm pretty sure my sister I said that I would talk more about preceptorship. So preceptorship is basically you are on your own. It's basically where you make your own schedule based on your preceptor. So for example, um, like I didn't work last week. I mean, it wasn't really my choice. It was more so because my preceptor was on vacation. But I didn't work last week, but I'm working one week, one day this week, and then two days next week. And then I'm basically doubled up until, um, until week eight. Um, as for Capstone, it's more like you're putting together your portfolio. Honestly, it feels like a lot of busy work, especially even for clinical. We have like these things called knowledge checks that I accidentally left loading. Um, they don't count for anything, but it's just a lot of work and I don't know, it's like a lot of unnecessary work, but I'm sure it's part of like the BRN or something. Um, but yeah, it's basically that and then the knowledge checks and we have these written assignments. I'm honestly probably just going to work ahead and do all the assignments beforehand. I might do some of them now. It's about 8, 3 p.m. and I want to leave around 6 p.m. So, yeah, it'll give me a little bit of time to do that. Um, I'm going to bring this paper with me. Sometimes we have a little bit of downtime. Honestly, I really shouldn't bring it with me, but night shift is like slow sometimes. Clinical capstone and then theory is just where you're doing a bunch of questions all the time. So I can like show you the example. Oh, it's like pinned up on my board like for example like we have to do this would be like let's pretend like it's week six so this is a week six you have 40 40 50 and this is like 198 questions this is 100 questions 186 questions and then 167 but the difference between this in comparison to regular theory classes is that nothing is graded everything is pass fail so basically the cutoff for your gpa was the last term which is kind of weird but yeah i don't even know the pressure is like going okay hopefully we have a good night tonight and i learn a lot of things because um we had a career fair that i don't know if i ever even talked about but i had gone around and like talked to a couple people just to figure out like what new grad programs that are available and then just kind of that other stuff um so yeah there was like a lot of things going on last week 
I don't know. I didn't like vlog it at all, honestly. I was kind of happy that I didn't have clinical that week because I feel like I would have been thrown off because I had like the career fair, then I had my skills, and then I had simulation. Um, but yeah. We have a lot more like exciting things planned for this summer. So that's what's keeping me from burning out. gonna finish my knowledge checks and do some homework and then later on I'm gonna go pack my lunch and get ready for my night shift and then I'll see you guys there so I printed these brain sheets from online I don't really like the ones the hospital gives so we'll try that if you remember this I got it like a long time ago when I went to like the tip luncheon and it's like this cute little pen light. And then I have my multi-barrel pen, my name tag, my watch which is really ugly and cheap but I keep losing them so I'm just buying the cheap ones off Amazon. I was gonna wear my contacts and normally that's fine throughout the day but some night shift it's kind of I don't know my eyes get really dry at night I don't really know why and then I'm gonna bring a jacket it is so awful right now I'm gonna bring this jacket what time is it it's only 5 48 I'm like freakishly early and it's only like a 35 minute drive so shift starts at 7 I'll leave in like leave at 6 probably so like one of the biggest differences that I'm like aware of is like for me I used to work night shift but I had like a really really close job so that after like I literally have work until 7 30 and I'd be like home showered and like ready to sleep at like 8 15 like that's how close i like live but now it's quite a drive uh, in comparison to my old night shift job but really no traffic in that area whenever i drive there so can't really complain too much but yeah i'm gonna leave in about 10 minutes and then yep I'm going to put some ice in my strawberry essay because it's kind of gross now. set on my glasses a couple days ago and now they keep slipping off so if I keep taking them on and off that's why and then let me take these oh my god why can I get them that there we go See, I ordered it at like 10 a.m. Oh my god, my car is a mess. Ew. Oh my god. Okay, so I'm actually at the drive-thru. I need to stop going to get fast food, but I only packed one thing to eat. 
and I thought I wasn't hungry, but I'm just gonna grab like a bean and cheese burrito and that's it because I need something to eat. But I showed up super early. It's like 6.34. The hospital's across the street, but I stopped at El Poy Loco. I don't even like El Poy Loco, but this just happens to be the only thing close by. So I'm gonna grab like a bean and cheese burrito because I think me and my sister came here last time and that's what she got and it was like decent. <sighs> but hopefully, yeah, then I'm just gonna park and then head over. I just have one um, original BRC burrito. Okay. And that's all. Any salsa? Uh, can I have mild, please? Okay, would you like to add any chips and guacamole to the order? I really hope today is a good shift because I slept like way too early. Like I woke up at like two because I napped at like 12. But I got a good night's sleep so I should be okay. Um, but yeah. I don't know, you'd think that I'd be good at night shift because I used to work it, but honestly like this is like so different because it's a completely different unit and Maybe it's just because um, ICU, there's always like stuff going on, especially last time we had like an emergency intubation at like 4 a.m. And then night shift does all the baths, so we do that too. But um, last time the night went fast, so hopefully it's okay this time too. But I'll let you guys know. So it's still like 6.40ish. So still pretty early. This is the burrito. It's honestly pretty expensive. Cheap thick though. <laughs> this is like a mukbang. So this is my second shift and I have to work eight shifts total. I'm gonna be doubling up next week to catch up. I think I'm gonna eat the rest later because I got hungry. Damn, that guy's going fast. I'm gonna leave you guys in here because I'm not gonna bring my camera to the hospital. One, it's dirty and then two, there's like a lot of like HIPAA stuff, but I'll let you guys know in the morning. It's like 2 p.m. and I'm like really tired right now, but the news is on and I'm just watching it and it's making me kind of sleepy, but it's been kind of crazy right now. I got some coffee. Someone brought in like Starbucks. I don't even know if you can hear me, but I'm on my phone. I didn't bring my camera. Five more hours. Hey, what's up? Good morning, everybody. I'm so tired. <sighs> okay, so it was a pretty hectic shift, actually. Um, but it wasn't too bad at the end um we had two patients one of them was on a ventilator and the other one was he was in a room air but he had he was the one who had the most problems because he had a a triple a which is a, a abdominal aortic aneurysm and i'll like tell you a funny story about that because literally i remember when I had gone to my employee health screening thing for my physical for my job, the doctor there can hear um, a pulse in your stomach. I was like, oh my god. And then he was like, have you heard of an aortic aneurysm? And I was like, holy shit. So I emailed my doctor and everything and she's like, no, it's, it's normal for a healthy um, kind of like thin person to have that guy had that and it was like starting to expand but there's certain parameters in which they have to hit to get it surgically 
fixed, I think. Um, but yeah, he was on a, a drip to lower his blood pressure because it was super high. Because your number one thing when they have a AAA is that you get their blood pressure down so it doesn't burst. Because once it bursts, that's pretty much like you'll bleed out to death. Um, and then we also had another patient who didn't really have anything too bad with him. He was pretty stable the whole time. There's not even that much to say about him. Um, I just learned a lot more about A-lines. Certain hospitals use pick lines a lot more, but I feel like A-lines are more used during the night shift, especially in the ICU because of the fact that the there's something called an intensivist who does A-lines there versus like the pick line there'd be need there's a need for a pick line nurse and the pick line nurse is there but yeah nothing too much with that patient but the other patient was going crazy that makes me want to learn more because I wish I could do back-to-back -back shifts but I have skills lab in the morning tomorrow so I wasn't able to do that but initially I had scheduled myself back-to-back because -back I I want to go back and see like what happens to him Maybe yeah, but my preceptor was really cool. Um, I really like her. She, um, she's very tidy. But I really like her work dynamic, and like I really, she guided me like a little bit too much. She did give me like some freedom to do like certain things. Um, but I really want to ask her if I can like want to be like working as close to what. A new grad would be working and I want to like be challenged to the point where like it makes me think I don't want her to feel bad that like it make me feel like stupid but I really want to learn it because I kind of like the ICU the dynamic of the ICU is interesting but holy shit there's so much going on like there are patients like maxed out on their drips and it's so busy oh my god um yeah, so they have a surgical ICU and a medical ICU. Surgical is mostly heart patients. Um, and that's where they said their harder cases are. Um, except her, I feel like I can learn a lot from her, but I want her to not feel bad for making me feel bad because I don't feel bad because at the end of the day, like she, even though she's my preceptor, she's grading me. She, it's pass fail and I'd rather her just like let me know I'm doing it wrong rather than a person who's hiring me tell me that I'm doing it wrong so yeah I feel like she's a really really good nurse because at the end of the day we were able to take off the nocardipine drip off the guy we were trying to keep the blood pressure down and then the other guy he had his neo turned down as well so that was really good um but yeah, she's just a really like organized person. I really need to get organized. I think that's like my biggest issue right now. And once I get a little bit more organized, I can kind of figure things out and really think things through and navigate a little bit better. But for now, i just not there and I need to fix that. Anyway, I'm gonna head home. Oh my God, let me turn this off. But yeah, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions about like preceptorship or anything like that just let me know hold on I'm but yeah I'm pretty much home now um, thank you guys for watching I know this is like one of the last nursing videos of me in nursing school so that's kind of why I've been trying to vlog a lot more but I'm exhausted and I want to <laughs> go to sleep that's gonna be the end for my vlog I just have theory and skills. I don't know if I'm gonna vlog it because I'm so tired. And honestly, I'm not gonna film skills because I'm just getting validated and theory is just me getting tested. But if I record that, I'll let you guys know how that went. And yeah. I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Thank you guys for watching, bye.